And finally, here we are. Been several months, well, for understandable reasons. Um, sadly, uh, well, a few videos of mine, um, which were meant to be uploaded like back in April, um, sort of April, May time, have well, have obviously had to be, well, temporary, temporary cancelled or postponed. Um, well, all the luckily, uh, well, uh, well, they were special videos, and luckily this pretty special video, a uh, special review, has not been postponed. It's um, well, it, it's it's dead on time, literally. Uh, we're gonna, well, I plan to to get it uploaded around this time, and here, and here it is. Well, mainly because it's inside the other early special videos, well, which were meant to be uploaded earlier, were outside, and and obviously due to the COVID nineteen lockdown, it, it well, that kind of compromised. <laughs> Um, being able to go places outside, didn't it? But this is a very special review. This is brand new. GWR Class 43 HST first and last. Basically, well, this is a model. Well, models of the last two GWR power car, well, Class 43 HST power cars to leave London Paddington last year. I mean, I sadly couldn't be there to, you know, to see them all, well, they all arrived one by one. I mean, um, didn't this one arrive first? Or, well, the way it says fir first and last, I, I think so, yes. Well, it was definitely the last one to leave. Again, all blowing the horns. Well, well um, leaving one by one. Quite quite emotional moment, really. I've, I've watched the video numerous times on YouTube. Um, of course, the Great Western, uh, yeah, yeah, the green power car 43198 yeah with the nameplates their driver Brian Cooper 15th June 1947 5th of October 1999 uh, hauled the Mark 3 set out with the Intercity 125 liveried uh, so yeah, yeah 443002 Sir Kenneth Grange of course in here Intercity 125 livery Again, it's it's brand new. This is it's literally oh, well, it, it only just got in the it, it only just got in in the shops a couple of days ago. Not cheap, mind. Um, between two fifty to three hundred quid. Uh, and yes, there are as well the forty years, nineteen seventy six, two thousand sixteen, and quite a lot of information here on the back. I mean, uh, this is the first time I've ever had a Class 43 HST or Intercity 125. I've been collecting model, uh, been, I've been collecting model railways for what, uh, nearly 20 years now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I started back in about 2002 or three, and finally, finally now in 2020, I, I get, a, I get an Intercity 125. I can't believe I didn't get one earlier. <laughs> I'm just kind of baffled by that. I am. So let's get, let's get it open then. I guess it's it literally just arrived a couple of hours ago. Now I did have a peek inside, and uh, <laughs> I was kind of surprised because uh, there's no block of ice. It's in polystyrene. Not that, that that's an issue or anything. I mean, polystyrene always protected them really well, didn't it? <laughs> it, it? It just it just wasn't well. It it just had a habit of making a mess. Yeah, I can see little bits going there, there and there already. <laughs> so. And, and I think the last time I uh, got a brand new model, um, which was in, well, which was wrapped in polystyrene and the tissue paper, I think, oof, I think it was over 10 years ago now. <laughs> and yes, the instructions here. Your class 43 HST, DCC ready. Is it, uh, what, yeah, well, for DCC ready, DCC fitted and sound operation. Uh, I mean, again, this one total, well, well, from Hatton's, a little bit cheaper than I saw it on, like, was it, um, Olivia's Trains and, um, the Hornby website as well. Um, I Hatton's are doing it for 261, which is still a lot, I know, but, um, and, uh, yeah, the site Olivia's Trains has got loads, and the most expensive one was, uh, I think, yeah, the, um, Virgin slash LNER one with the NRM livery, um, power car, 350 quid. And again, it's just for the power cars, you don't get coaches, so... I'd say maybe maybe 150 to 200 would be a little bit more reasonable. I mean, 250 to 300, especially over 300, is a little bit overkill. Ooh. Wow. Now, one thing I will say is that, well, um, well, let's see. You may as well get her out first. Two seconds. Oh gosh, she, she's freezing cold. 
almost just to push that. Yes! Again, it was so long since I was last taking a brand new loco out of a box like that. Um, wow. Look at this. That is a beauty. I, I can see the look. I can see the cab controls. Look at that. I think it sort of helps if I hold it into view and not above like that. And again, yes, you've guessed it. Let's get a close up of the of the nameplate. Sorry, a bit of light beaming in from the window there. I'll try and block that out. Try and get a close up of the name. City one two five. Oh, almost. Yeah, just so you can, you can read that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful power car. This is the one with the motor in, the other one in the deep green, which we'll get out in a second. Um, it, well, it is, well, you are like a dummy car, well, an, 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 an unmounted power car. I'll get the, I'll, I'll get the, I'll get it right eventually. I think my speech is, get, is getting better as well. Again, I'll try, I'll try not to stutter so much. I, I just can't, I just can't always help it. I, I mean, luckily I'm not, I'm not too tired today because over the past week I've, I've been getting used to the hours in my new job. Absolutely gorgeous, just beautiful, just beautiful. And the closer, oh yes, I just love it when it when it focuses like that. Intercity one two five. I mean the roof. Um, look through there, you can see the fan. It's really shiny. And and the fortieth, I'm not sure how well it'll focus on that. But, but the 40th logo there, if I just hold it away from the camera there, bring it focus and slowly bring it under the camera. I think that's the best we're going to get, but again, it, it says, uh, f uh, well, uh, like I showed you on, on the box earlier, the uh, 40 years. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Again, I, I mean, you know, the Intercity, the Intercity 125, it's one of the most special, most memorable trains ever. Sorry, that was just my phone. And I, saw, I mean, look at the wheels. You, you can even see. Uh, you can probably just you can probably just pick it out on the wheels. The little grey bits there, basically, sort of on the inside of the wheels, because um, well, um, didn't they soon fit? Uh, yeah, they fitted the um, HSTs. Were like sort of. Um, sorry, my arm, my arm's blocking the light there again. Again, my room's never never been brilliant for getting light. I mean, the, it's it's a bit dull outside again. It's really cloudy you know, it's your, your typical british summer isn't it well, well the weather's been sort of mixed i mean i've got my light on as well it's it's always it's, it's never been the easiest i mean i think on the real one this tank bit here's more gray color but that's not an issue at all but again on this side as well you can see the gray bits inside the wheels for like the um well well they must be for disc brakes aren't they well meaning they obviously fitted the hsts with a more modern disc disc braking system which I'd say they looked maybe a bit better without the wheels being like that. But, no, they, they still look brilliant. But isn't she just beautiful? So the grill like that. And some good news. I don't think... Oh, well. What's that? Oh. Oh. Oh, I say. We have uh, some nameplates in there. Atch nameplate. Atch nameplates using blue tech. Not suitable for children. I say in the blue tack and as a tribute to, well, <laughs> to AC8, well, uh, what you call it, a little tribute to AC82 there. Um, he's got a few, um, um, has he got, um, he's got a few, um, in City 1 2 fight, well, um, Class 43 HSTs, hasn't he? So, uh, a nameplate pack there. And only a, you know, thankfully, only a couple of little bits here. I'm, I'm not sure, um, are they, they look little coupling bits. I'm not really sure what they are. Well, yeah, in terms of the couplings, they're not full NEM, but they're sort of medium size, so that's not really an issue. This is just, this is, I can't believe just how stunning this is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Brand new HST power car. There's a fair bit of weight to it, and, um, it, I'm sure the body's all metal as well. You can probably see, yeah, yeah just, um, that's why so much light is shining and beaming off her. It's all, it's all metal. Do the doors open? Yes, yes, they do. Uh, I can't really get it very, very well in camera, but the doors do, 
pinch open a, a little bit. I'm just begging that she's going to run right. Well, hopefully she will, but... Um, the last one or two local, well, well, one or two new locals I've got over the past few years, I had to, well, they ran okay, but I did have to send one or two back due to, I don't know, like, well, a few issues, but, but hopefully, you see, hopefully this HST will not let us down. And again, if we can get the cab quite close, careful, oh yeah, the nice detail on the roof there. I can just pick out a wire in there as well. You can just sort of just see down to the bottom where the bogey is. But if, if you look there, you can just see a little bit of cab detail, the two seats in there as well. Very, very, very impressed. Very, very impressed indeed. This has probably been the best model I've Probably the best model I've, I've, I've ever got. I, can see, I, can, I can't believe I left it so long before I finally got an, an Intercity 125 train. The, the high-speed train that basically transformed train travel in it, it, <clears throat> in Britain. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I've had a, had a bit of a funny throat as well. Of, again, crazy week, you know, starting a new job and that, etc. Getting used to the hours. Let's see, I've got, I've got a rather poorly swollen foot as well it's just it's just starting to get better but i'll be okay don't worry right uh, let's have a look at the at the at the other power car so i wonder what these black pad bits were <laughs> obviously this one's going to be much lighter because it's got no motor in I'll find the holes uh, dead easy to um to push out although sometimes well um some are easiest and quite difficult to get in and out i mean um sometimes the they're not always that easy to put, to, you know, to put back inside the uh, plastic trays. I mean, they don't always, like, don't always like going back in. But again, it's you know, it's often, you know, I think, that, you know, they might, you know, last longer and better for them keeping them in the, in the, uh, in the, in their boxes. And here we are. Yep. Yeah. And of course, this one um, with the name plates. Let's see if we can get a. It's smaller font. I don't know how well we'll get focus, but again, and this one's all metal as well. As you can see with the sh with the shine. Well, I'm well, I'm I'm wait. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's it's metal or is it plastic? Wait a minute. I'll just I'll just feel the other one. Um, I don't know. I I, I don't know. Um, um actually, it, it it feels more plastic, but very shiny plastic. I don't, I don't know if I just mistook it for metal. Like I couldn't really tell really, but. Lovely and shiny. The, the GWR lettering there again. This is definitely my favourite Great Western livery. I mean, there've been numerous liveries. Um, well, well, once, um, once you know, Great Western Railway did their own liveries on on the HSTs um, after like you know, Intercity Swallow and One Two Five and that. Um, I'll say probably my, my second favourite Great Western livery would, would probably be was it known as like the Barbie livery or something? Well, it was sort of like a blue purple with like big. Big first lettering along the side there, so well it it, it was a lot more colourful because I think um uh, well I'll, I'll I'll like all the liveries but the um I think it was the one after that the the more dark blue colour was just like um first first Great Western on the side there still looked good uh, the, the the there was a bit more colouring on the Mark Three coat on the Mark Three coaches like the sort of squiggle bits going on there but if you I think if you said they sort of found that that well mainly on the power cars the the full dark blue with, with with the smaller writing there a bit plain or a bit dull again i'll see if we can try and get a a, a good close-up of the of the lettering almost i'm not sure if it's going to get any better than that but because again it's just it's it's a lot more so, so. oh well, um it actually says something different on that uh, on that side uh, on um, this side on this side, it says says the uh, dr it says driver Brian. Um, it, it says driver Brian Cooper. Again, again with the uh, fifteenth. Uh, yeah, 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 fifteen. Did, did I say it wrong? Fifteenth of June, nineteen forty-seven, and fifth of October, nineteen ninety-nine. And on this one, it says driver Stan Martin, twenty-fifth of um, June, nineteen fifty, sixth November, two thousand four. And again, with the same coupling, as well. Um, uh, one thing I will need for other though is uh, is some Mark Threes. I'll have to buy those separately. Obviously, I'll 
I should I should be able to get some soon. But wow, just this this is just stunning again. Can look and just see see through the cab there. Fan. Sorry, my phone. my phone goes off a lot of the time. Just, just stunning. And, and yes, I, I'm pretty sure it's a model with working lights. So, well, the HSTs usually are, aren't they? And again, the um, the grey disc parts on the wheels. Wow. There and there. I mean, I'd say whilst not what you would call, maybe not super massively detailed on the underneath parts, it, it's still stunning, I mean. You know, there's been sort of, you know, a fair few changes, you know, detail, improvements, updates. Um, uh, well, which which Hornby have done on their Class 43 HSTs. I mean, they're finally going to be do, going to be redoing, well, I'm pretty sure they're going to be redoing their, their 225s, their Class 91s, because... Um, they practically barely changed since what since the model came out in in like the eighties. But um, sorry, just get get the other one. Here they are, both together. They're just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. But again, as I was saying, they're definitely. Uh, Chain, well, um, updated their Class 43s, their, their Class 43 power cars over the years in terms of detail. Um, I mean, this one is just stunning. It's, it is just, oh, I'm just, I'm almost speechless at just how beautiful it is. Um, but again, uh, of course, I've I've got a Class 91 from from around 2003 or four. Uh, um, of course, let's say if you if you put next to a, a well a one from one from like now or or within the past couple of years, there's practically no no difference in detail at all. It's still a great model, but I'm pretty sure Hornby are, are finally going to retool their their class ninety ones. And oh, as I was saying about the couplings, um, I think I, I'm online. I saw some pics um, of the Mark Three coaches with with different couplings. Basically, if you remember, um, I mean, Backman, yeah, Backman have re retooled their Class 158s, haven't they? I, I think they've given them different couplings. Um, again, I, I like my, yeah, like my Class 158, uh, my Scott Rail one, uh, uh, which of course most of the uh, the Great Western HSTs are now working for Scott um, for Scott Rail, aren't they? Uh, and I think most of the LNER ones are now at EMR um, East Midlands, East East Midlands Railway, but. If remember the the type of coupling, I saw my phone again. <laughs> I should put it on silent. But the type of coupling the previous backer model class one one five eight had um, to couple the two cars together. Um, it was sort of like a basically just a very very tiny shape like that, but we know hook bit like that. Just basically they just sort of clipped onto each other like that. It was str uh, strange, um, quite a strange one really. I, I I definitely saw I definitely saw uh, some pics online of. Um, of some great Western Mark threes with that type of coupling, but I'm I'm obviously going to need some with the with this type of coupling. I don't think I've seen a, um, any power cars with that other type of coupling. But again, again, I just I just love that. Um, uh, well, we all know where this particular power car is now, don't we? In the National Rail Museum in York, I, I did a video of her uh, um, just towards the end of last year. She stood on on the turntable, looking grand. I'm not sure about um, uh, this one though, 43198. Uh, I don't know if she's still working um, because some of them are still working for G for GWR. Of course, they they don't run into Paddington anymore. Um, um, again, uh, you know, um, as I said, I <laughs> watched the video numerous times where. Again, where they leave one by one. With this one being the last one, just heading out like that to the uh, any of the horns. Well, again, just blowing their horn in a great tribute, a great a, a great goodbye, saying final goodbye to 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 Paddington Station. And again, then with 
the power cost, so Kenneth Grange behind. And well, as I was saying, I don't know if this particular one, put it in the comments if you know, it, um, is work, um, is still working for, G, for GWR. And I think they can do like, um, I, th I think they do services from like, um, uh, do they run, yeah, I think they still run into South Wales, don't they? It's like Cardiff and Swansea and um, on the, on the obviously still run like, uh, for example, the Cornish line, Plymouth to Penzance. And I think, do they go to Bristol as well? In, into Temple Meads? I mean, you can clearly see through with the... The, the grill pot there, uh, uh, yeah, we'll get, obviously this one, this one's got no motor in. Right, let's get these beautiful beasts on the track and running. Oh, just quickly on my calendars, last month's Ju uh, June's pick, there's, there's Sir Kenneth Grange there, it says, um, yeah, um, 43002 Sir Kenneth Grange gleams in the sun at, is that, Lear, is that Leara Depot for the very last time before its journey to to uh, to the NRM. Where's that depot? Is that is that is that near Swindon or? Because I'm pretty sure she came up from from Swindon. Um, oh well, to N NRM Shildon first. She was there for a couple of weeks before coming down to York.